Hello, chemistry students. We're going to do the paint chips lab, percent yield of a colorful salt. Um, we're going to first take copper 2 chloride, and we're going to take about 0.5 grams of it using a beaker. So we're going to zero out the beaker. Oops. We're going to tear the beaker. And then we're going to get 0.5. Oh, 0.75, we won't put back, that's fine, of that. Doesn't really matter what we start with, 0.75. And then we're gonna do the same to this guy. And we'll tear that using a different scupula. We're gonna try and get We'll do 0.58. Oh, and this is sodium carbonate. Sodium carbonate. And then we're gonna take distilled water because they're deionized water because this doesn't have any ions in it. So it's free of ions. And we're gonna add 25 milliliters of deionized water to each of these powders. We're just gonna eyeball it here. Just 25 to that, and about 25 to that. And as you learned in your pre-lab, it's not important how much water is in there. And then we're going to take stirring rods, and we're going to stir until it's all dissolved, so we have no more granules. So that looks all dissolved there. And then we're going to do the same to the sodium carbonate. So that looks good there. So you can see those observations of what those were. So what we're doing here is we're filling in your data table for the chemical formula. You should have the masses and then your observations of what the sodium carbonate looks like and what the copper chloride looks like. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mix these two together. So we're going to pour them into each other. And you can see that it got really cloudy. Kind of almost lumpy. And I will stir just to make sure that it gets all mixed together properly. And it doesn't matter which stirring rod we use for this because they're mixed together. But that's what the observations look like now for the mixture. So you're doing it for the mixture. Okay. So then um, we need to filter so it got cloudy because there's, um, there's a precipitate in there. And we learned what a precipitate is today. And so we need to filter out that precipitate. So we're going to take filter paper and we're going to fold it in half. And we're going to fold it in half again. And this makes a little cone, like so, that we can fit into a funnel and it's going to go into an Erlenmeyer flask, which we call an E-flask, like so. A good chemist will always put a little bit of water in there to kind of like hold it down to the sides. Okay, and then we're going to 
pour our mixture in there and we want to make sure that we don't go um, see on the top here we can't go over the edge so that's probably all I'm going to add for right now and you'll notice that it's coming out on the bottom but there's no blue coming out so it's just a clear um, solution right there and so that's what the in-person students are doing today they are filtering this is called filtering and um, as this goes down they're going to keep adding more and more of this um, over time and you'll see right here that there's stuff left on the inside of that and so what you do to fix that is they're going to be adding more water because we want to get every single little bit and so they're going to be adding more water and then adding it and then they're going to keep doing that till they have a clean beaker and so again it doesn't matter how much distilled water we're adding but you want this beaker to be pretty clean and so now we just sit and wait um, so we're going to turn the camera off here what you can be doing right now is your whatever um, whatever item your teacher wanted you to work on I'm sure he or she has assigned you something to work on that's what you're going to work on right now and then um, you can watch the second video to see what happens after we're done filtering but as you can see drop by drop we're getting more and more of that clear solution down there